Colonel Matteo Martimucci, commander of the 70th Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance Wing, signs the Garrison's Proclamation of Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month. The colonel was among several installation leaders attending the kickoff of Fort Meade's observance of the month. More on that in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, a visit from Secretary Ben Carson, a preview of Earth Day, and have you got your Orioles tickets yet? These stories and more, but first, April is Sexual Assault Prevention and Awareness Month, and Garrison Commander Colonel Tom Rickard started Fort Meade's observance with a proclamation signing. While SHARP is an Army program, it's a joint endeavor to make sure that we're keeping ourselves um, safe and secure and uh, doing the best that we can to help uh, fight and prevent sexual assault and sexual harassment. And so with that, I'm going to sign the proclamation and I'll be followed by representatives of commands here at Fort Meade. And thank you for your attention and thank you for your participation today. Here's a quick rundown of April's events. On Friday, April 6th, join the 704th at Strikeout Sexual Assault. The 902nd is hosting Lapa Loop on the 10th at Gaffney. This year's motorcycle run, very popular event, is on the 20th. And don't miss the Sharp Expo on the 24th. The Denim Day Walk, which is an international event, is on the 25th. And the Amazing Race returns on the 26th. Stay tuned to Midweek for continued coverage. In other news, Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Dr. Ben Carson visited the Fort Meade community last week. He toured Sarah's house and participated in a roundtable discussion with clients and staff. Sarah's House, located just across Maryland 175 from Fort Meade, is a supportive housing facility offering emergency and transitional housing for families experiencing homelessness in Anne Arundel County. Secretary Carson listened to several former clients talk about overcoming homelessness and the role of Sarah's House in their lives. For his part, Carson offered a message of working together to get things accomplished. You know, we live in a country with a lot of advantages. And we live in a country that is incredibly strong. But we, uh, right now, live in a country that is very divided and getting more divided. And I think we each have to use our sphere of influence uh, to reject the hatred and the divisiveness. A house divided against itself cannot stand. But when we decide to work together, pool our resources, I think there's virtually nothing that cannot be accomplished. Meanwhile, the Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Employment Office and the 704th Military Intelligence Brigade hosted this year's observance of Women's History Month. The event held last week at the McGill Training Center featured guest speaker Colonel Mary Martin, the Commandant of the Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute. She spoke about the Institute and the importance of teaching the isms. I always found it interesting. I've never gone to military training which anyone taught me racism. I've never gone through military training which they taught us sexism. I've never gone through any uh, military training which they taught us how to be disrespectful to others. But because we are a slice of society, it's probably in some of our core. However, as we continue to teach on those things so that we can be good to one another, because kindness goes a long ways. And when you forget about those parts and pieces of who you are and who we want you to be as military members, it always makes a change and a difference. In other news, Earth Day is coming up, so here's a quick look at the nearly 50 vendors and exhibits on tap for this year. Highlights this year include Pershing Hill Elementary School students who will be putting on a fashion show of recycled clothing they made. Live animal exhibits are always popular. The Patuxent Wildlife Refuge is bringing a screeching owl and a falcon this year. This year's keynote speaker is Justin Garrity from VeteranCompost.com. Town Place Suites at BWI is back again to raffle off two one-night stays. According to Fort Meade Environmental Division Suzanne Kopich, a lot more food options are going to be available this year. Corvius is once again providing free hot dogs, but if you want something a little more, Earth Day is bringing up to four vendors with choices ranging from Jamaican barbecue to gourmet grilled sandwiches. These, sadly, are not free. Once again, Earth Day 2018 is coming up April 19th from 10 to 1 at the Fort Meade Pavilion. Turning to sports news, the Baltimore Orioles, who got an opening day win this week, are returning to Fort Meade for their annual youth baseball clinic. It's coming up Saturday, April 28th, and it's for ages 7 to 14. Child and Youth Services youth baseball teams will get first priority, then anyone else enrolled at CUIS, and finally any remaining spots will be open to the community. No details on which Orioles will be here this year, but we'll let you know as soon as we do. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.